Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create or draw beautiful images with this AI tool. It's gonna be called FreePick or Picasso AI, and this is gonna be the link www.freepick.com. So on your landing page, it should look like this. And I haven't created an account yet because I wanna take you step by step. So the first thing you wanna do upon checking this out is sign up. So let's sign up together. Click that button and you'll arrive on this landing page where basically you can continue with Google, Facebook, or email. I'm going to go continue with Google here, choose my dummy account, and basically log in. Now, while you choose your dummy account, you'll go back to the landing page earlier. Now, this should be the landing page after signing up. So basically, there are tools here on the left side, color palette, and a lot of tools here. We're going to take them one by one. So before we get into the tools, I want to show you how it works. Basically, on the left side is your Canva. This is where you draw. This is where you change everything. On the left side is the real-time output. So if I change the place of the boat there, expect the one on the right will change itself also. Easy as that, right? How good is that? Anyway, let's move on to the part one. We're going to focus for the part one on prompts. This one right here. So for now, I'm going to change it. For example, since right now it's going to be landscape of the sea with an old boat. I'm going to put in thunder clouds. As you can see right there, real time. It's changing. Thunder clouds. A boat. A pirate boat to be exact. With a Jolly Roger. On the sea. Easy as that. So this is going to be my new prompt. And as you can see, it's very fast to adapt. That's going to be the part one, changing the prompt. Part 2 is painting, so click on that option right there and basically choose a color. I'm going to go with brown here and I'm going to create some trees over here. For example, I'm going to create trees here. Let me just check that out now. As you can see, I only created some green and it gave me some trees. If I want red, for example, I'm going to create a boat here. As you can see, that is a boat. So basically, AI is just guessing what are you drawing. So, so how about some black color over there? I'm going to create some heart here. Let's see how it works. And basically, it gave me a Jolly Roger with a ship on it. Now, for the part 2, it's going to be shapes. It's going to be on icons. And technically, it's basically these ships right here. So, for example, I want some trees here. I'm going to place them right there. Again, I'm going to get the tree, drag it, and place it over here. As you can see, I have a tree now this one right here and as you can see the real time is working moving on where it's focused on imagination it's gonna be this one right here so if you modify this one the lesser the imagination the lesser it's referring to the prompt or the thing you do on the left side as so as you can see right there if no imagination it's basically the same thing as we draw the higher the imagination the more powerful the ai is working on it but it's, it's going to be far from the one creating. So I suggest between 60 to 70 is the sweet spot on this one. Next part is regenerate. This one right here. Or rather, let's call this reimagine. If you're not satisfied with the results, simply click on this one. And then AI or the Pika or Picasso AI will regenerate your results as so. Also, we have enhance here. If you click on it, basically it's enhancing the output of the AI. Basically, that's it. It's upscaling the colors, the color grading, everything is fixing. Now, moving on, if you're satisfied with this one, simply click on that button right there to download. Click on it and you'll have options. You can download by landscape or portrait. You can download both images, the one you're creating and the one you're making, or the single image output. Just simply click on this button right there and basically it will go to your PC without a problem. So there is no payment subscription for this one. How powerful is that, right? Now for the next part, is going to be custom model. So to proceed on custom modeling is clearing the Canva, clearing the prompt, basically clearing everything and change the background to white. Let me choose white there. There you go. And right now, if you pay close attention on the upload section, you can basically upload a specific sample. So I'm going to upload my sample right there. And right now, it's basically creating its own prompt or rather own result on the right side. Now, I'm not going to enter anything just yet, but for now, 
I'm gonna enter a prompt. So let's say right here, I'm gonna say red hair. Simple as that. And I have a red hair. I'm gonna get white shirt. I have a white shirt right there. Blue shoes. That is my blue shoes. I think it red blue shirt. Anyway, I'm good with this one. Facing front. Let's see if it will work out. I think it's not reading it properly. Anyway, I think I'm satisfied with this two right here. I'm gonna go with blue shirt right there. Perfect. And that being said, the next thing I can do right now is basically enhance the image. I can also click on this reimagine button to properly change my output. Now, by the way, with this one, is I'm satisfied, simply again, click on it, download right there, click on download button, and I'm good to go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.